Fred, we got about two more weeks left in the summer. We were talking about how great our summers have been. The one thing you were lamenting, you're so busy, you don't have time to do any summer reading. Is that accurate? I cannot do any reading. Just too busy. And I was saying, I feel so bad for you, and you said, don't, because you have developed a method, according to you, where you can look at the cover of a novel and know everything about it. <laughs> the entire story from start to finish, all the characters, every detail, the writing style. Is this true? The different chapters, the title, the title page, everything. All right, well, we're going to put it to the test once okay. again. This is our new segment, Fred Judges a Book by Its Cover. <laughs> Ready, Freddy? All set. Here we go. The book is Clock Dance Clock by Dance. Anne Tuck. Clock Dance. Yeah. By, it's a novel by uh, Anne Tyler. Yep, okay. You're off to a great start, Fred. Yeah. What's it about? So this is about, uh, it's very literally about a clock. And... <laughs> Um, so the main character is like, I'm going to design a clock. It's going to be the best clock ever because it's going to last for centuries. Okay. Right? So um, the, the protagonist, who turns out to be the antagonist too, um, <laughs> I won't give too much away, uh, plants some seeds in the shape of a clock. And what happens is it, the book is a description of these seeds growing into cacti. <laughs> You see, there are two of them. So, the... That would be, so that, you yeah. mean that would be that one and this one? Right, yeah. so <laughs> the protagonist um, wants to tell time according to this, but it takes so long that he dies before the end, before he's able to... So he's so about his to plan say, like... To, I'm sorry, his plan to invent a clock was to plant seeds in the shape of a clock. That's what he was told to do. So he was like, okay, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like a great idea. I should just go out and, you know, just, like, buy a clock because life is short. And this person who gave them advice was like, no, I think this is the best way to do it. You will save money. Oh, okay. So he's, he's like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And it took so long that he died. I mean, he was, you know... Does he now, excuse me, did he die bef after he becomes the antagonist? <laughs> uh, in death, he becomes the antagonist. Okay. Because, <laughs> the, uh, because the town is just like, why did you spend so much time doing this? Why did you waste all of our time, hence clock dance? So it's a... <laughs> so... It's a very literal book, and at the end of it, they do a dance for his funeral. Oh, wow. A clock dance, as it Clock dance, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's great. Can I just tell you what the publisher says it's sure. about? Okay. <laughs> after receiving a startling phone call from a stranger, Willa flies across the country to Baltimore to look after a young woman she's never met, her nine-year-old daughter and their dog airplane. This impulsive decision leads Willa to find solace and fulfillment in unexpected places. That's the protagonist right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Fred, everybody!